Hey there, Griff Hamlin here from Blues Guitar Unleashed. Welcome, thanks for joining me. In today's video, I got nothing special but a really, really cool lick. And this particular lick, it's a great slow blues lick. Yes, you could speed it up and use it over a shuffle blues if you're comfortable doing that, uh, but it does have a fair amount of triplets on it, in it, so it works very well over a slow blues. What is particularly cool about this is it utilizes boxes three and four. It's a little bit unusual, right? A lot of times we play in, you know, an A, right? We're in box one or maybe box two. But what I want you to think about is I want you to put your third finger on the, uh, the A at the fifth string, right? That's the 12th fret on the fifth string. That is where the minor root falls in box three. Now, hopefully you know box three already. 10, 12, 10, 12, 10, 12, 9, 12, 10, 13, 10, 12. Right? So we're gonna start there, one and uh on that root. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna climb right out two and duh. We're gonna go from the 10th to the 12th fret and then slide up to the 14th fret on the fourth string. So that's from the root to the flat third to the fourth that's gonna slide up to the fifth. When we slide up to the fifth like that, we're now really more in box four. Right? Which is 12, 15, 12, 15, 12, 14, 12, 14, 12 14 13, 15, 12, four, uh, 15. But again, the root is here on the fifth string. That's one of the reasons I love this particular pattern, these two particular patterns so much, is I have that root note on the fifth string. So again, I'm gonna start here. One and uh, two and duh. Now I'm gonna bounce up three and duh to the G. G back to E up to G, which is the flatted seven to the fifth, back to the flatted seven. And then I'm gonna hit the root on beat four. Again, one and uh, two and uh, three and uh, four and uh. Okay, now that is an unusual rhythm, but it's also an exceptionally cool rhythm. To hit the note on the and, it gives it that sort of anticipation. And it's also the flatted third. So you can give it a little bit of that blue squeeze. You could conceivably move it all the way up to a major third, but I really don't think you wanna do that. You just want to give it ever so slight little bit of squeeze to get it to sound bluesy, right? So again, one, uh, two, and uh, three, and uh, four, and uh, one. We're going to come back to that root at the 14th fret of the third string. And uh, the flatted three. Now, we're going to do a bend. A lot of people don't know that this bend is even possible in this box, but it's a great bend and it's super cool. So I'm gonna bend the 15th fret, which is the fourth of the scale, the D, bend it up to an E. I'm gonna hold it there while my pinky grabs the G at the 15th fret of the top string, and then I'm gonna re-bend. So I have one and uh, two and uh, three and uh, again, one and uh, two and uh, three and uh, four and uh, and you can hold that as long as you want. You can try to get a little sugar, whatever feels comfortable. So if we put this all together, one and uh, two and uh, three and uh, four and uh, one and uh, two and uh, three and uh, four. One more time, one, uh, two. Uh, three and a four and a one and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two and a three. And so there's a couple of things in particular that really make that interesting. Obviously, it's an ascending lick. Okay, that's a little bit different. We, a lot of times, we have the, a lot of descending licks. We don't always focus on ascending licks. They're very useful, they're very important, particularly if we gotta get up and out quickly. We're, we're moving through almost two octaves with this lick. Second of all, it's got an interesting rhythmic component. I can't stress that enough. Make sure you count this out when you learn it. If you miss 
those unique rhythmic components, in particular the uh, four and uh, getting that on the and instead of the uh. That's one of those things that really makes this lick work. And of course we have some variety. Right, so we have um, one and uh, two and uh, three and uh, four and uh, that gives us some variety, but now we have eighth notes, not triplets. One and uh, two and uh, three. So we have eighth notes, uh, triplet eighth notes starting out, but then we kind of switch it up. We do that funky thing on beat four, and then we do more just, I'll say, the lazy eighth notes, the, the regular shuffle eighth notes. So we have a lot more of this variety, and that it's that variety of rhythm that makes this sound really cool. And again, it's based off of a note we don't normally base things off of. If I wanted to put this in the key of E, it'd be a really, really killer lick. Or like G, one and a two and a three and a four. Right, you can simply move it, slide it around, it'll give you all those different things, okay? so. That's it. It's just a fun lick. It's a really cool lick. I hope you'll take some time to do it. Again, I hope you'll count it out. And uh, I'll leave a link also in either this video. I do have a course called 50 Slow Blues Licks by the Box. If you dig this sort of thing and you want licks that utilize all five of the boxes organized in such a similar fashion so you can find them, I'll say per box. Uh, that's something I've done that's been very popular. I'll leave a link to that near this video. And as always, if you have guitar playing friends that you think would dig this video, I hope you will share it with them. I'm Griff Hamlin from Blues Guitar Unleashed, and I will talk to you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.